Mm-hmm. Oh, how have you been? Oh, I've been good. Uh, yeah. Um, left for my grandmother's place on Friday. My sister joined up. She has, she had the today. She had to work, and for um, but she had um, because her probation is almost done in in January. Um, she's working. She's a social worker and stuff like that. So she's almost done with probation and stuff like that. So we'll see how that goes. And then, um, yeah, it was just very low key, which is nice. Good, good, good. Yeah, I think this year things have finally returned to normal. That's good. I uh, almost accidentally uh, cu- uh, almost cut off my thumb, so that was fun. Oh. I was uh, making chili, and I was cutting the onions, and I I accidentally cut my the top of my thumb off. Well, not off, not off, but um, I just cut myself accidentally, and then it uh, it's better now. But uh, yeah, it was not a good time. I don't I, think I, it was just like a piece of it. Not like not like a piece, but it was just like I just accidentally cut it as I was. I don't think not... any of my knives are that sharp. Yeah. And my grandmother warned me, it's like, be careful, like this <laughs> knife is sharp. And I was like, Yeah, yeah, sure, whatever. And then it was like, Well like, shump. And then, funnily enough, she gifted me a knife for Christmas. <laughs> a kitchen knife. Uh, she was like, yeah, this is... I did not mean to do this, but this is... This is hilarious. That's funny. back to work uh yeah this week is always it always has like the weird period between christmas and new year's of like uh what do we what like what day like what are we even doing yeah it's like 2023 is over like can we just yeah. like just chill until the countdown's over and then once the countdown's over and you wake up the next morning, it's like, mm, I'm still not ready to start the year, though. <laughs> Just give me a couple more days. Yeah. Say that one more time. 
You're missing the GPT. Oh shit. Oh, chat GPT? Yeah. Thank you. That's okay. All right. <laughs> Testing, testing, testing. All right, I sound pretty good. Welcome, everyone. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas. And as we journey into the new year, let's get this party started. I am the Traveling Wanderer. I see you put the ice down. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh. Yes, you did. Yep, um, oops. Putting, putting ice down, working on the, the actual ice way part of it. I need a ton of slabs and um, ice, which means we need the sand that we actually have and keep forgetting that we actually have it. Should I do one side first? Because then it'll make the other side easier.
Oh, I can actually get these slabs down to the end, I think. Uh, only eight more? Maybe. It's gonna be close. Oh my god, it's perfect. Um, so you cooked a bunch of glass? It's um, by my uh, chest. I cooked another stack, but I definitely need uh, a lot more glass. Um, as far as the sand that we had, is there still some left? Hello, Tropical. How are you doing today? Doing pretty good. Just back on the big old project. Um, do we have a bunch of sand still left over, or are we gonna need to migrate some of it from the? I'm not sure. Uh... I, 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 maybe, I'm not sure exactly. Ooh. I'm gonna be dead. Yep, I died. Yep. What? I knew that was gonna happen. Uh, huh? I, uh, I, every time I build up, I forget that in this world, I can't really, like, build up all the way. I have to, like, give it a few seconds. It's happened uh, almost. I, I have to be careful every time I start building up because you can't, for some reason, it just pushes you off whenever um, I start building up and stuff like that. Okay. Good. You've been popping into the stream, Tropical? I'm yes. sorry. Yes. I am. Um, Thank you. As long as I've been streaming, I'm still bad at checking chat. But uh, thank you for stopping by. Hope you had a good Christmas. Huh? All right, oh, let's check on resources. <laughs> Kiki! <laughs> oh, the sand's down. Have some, let's, somewhat, some sand. Let's let's. Uh. Uh, oh, y'all said that I could. I could. Oh, uh, what is it? What is? It? Hmm. I don't remember what y'all said I could do with the sand. Uh, yeah, it was actually pretty good. It, uh, it finally changed back to the old traditional Christmases before COVID where we can like 
do our traditional routines that we used to do. Oh, oh we have a lot more um, from years past. So I'm glad that we can uh, get back to that. Okay. Is this broken somehow? Alright, um, so we have two chests that are like, two single chests that are like kind of halfway full. Okay. So we got, we have plenty of sand to be cooked. Alright. Um, my thing is I'm going to need, uh, I don't sleep. have a bed at the moment. Oh, uh, why am I putting that? One second. <laughs> it is too hot in here. I was going to change the temperature, but then I got distracted. Yeah, 76 in here. That's too hot. Wow, wow were you able to get your stuff? I'm about to. Oh. I am uh, currently building out the glass for the... Uh, for the slide, or not the slide, the elevator. Yes. So, for whatever reason, I can't dig straight up. I have to, like, be, like, patient with it, kind of. Oh, I'm getting, I, I got it. Okay. Are you sleeping? Yep. Everybody right. sleeps. <laughs> about that. Yeah, um, my AC is either, it either, this week, this last couple of days, it's been like, I want to be 68 degrees or 76 degrees. Cool. It doesn't want to stay in the middle for some reason. All right. Um, I got some of the sand so I can cook it and now I just need lava. It's like the more I think about it, it's like before I started the stream, I was like, "Man, I got a headache." And I, I, don't I know. have a headache too. Yeah, and I'm like, I don't know if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna be like 100 percent on the stream. And then I uh, I thought about what I ate today, and I was like, "Oh yeah, I just ate a bunch of junk." So I'm like, "That's probably why I'm feeling bad." But then I also remember that when I woke up, it was 68 degrees in the house. And I was like, nope, that's too low. So I turned it to 72. But then at a certain time of the day, it starts monitoring a different part of the house. So it starts monitoring the bedroom, which we're not in. So it's like, oh, it's nice and comfortable in the bedroom. But in the living room, it's like 68. It's like 76 degrees. And I'm like, uh, that's why I have a headache. So I just turned it down. And I've been just chugging water. And I'm like, why am I using the bathroom so much? And I'm like, ah. It's, it's that weird time of the year. Where my... Look at all those chickens. Kiki. Hello. Hello. Yeah, it's that weird time of the year where, like, the thermostat just doesn't want to cooperate. It's the best time of the year. It's when the actual Black Friday sale starts. Wait, what? 
It's the actual Black Friday sale. Dude, I got me a rice cooker for nine dollars. What? <laughs> Did you give it's me the one actual. too? <laughs> it was the last one. <laughs> it'll be a six cup rice cooker for nine dollars. <sighs> Told you it, it's the best time of the year. This is when you actually do your Black Friday shopping. Yeah, I'm gonna go either tomorrow or Thursday. I'm gonna go. I need a new pair of shoes. Uh, mine are getting very old, and I might shoot myself to uh, br uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Ooh. Even though I know Nintendo never does any sales, but I, I think I'm gonna. I got some Christmas money, so I'm gonna shoot myself. Oh, they do sales, but it's like after you buy the game that you've been waiting for yes, to go on sale. That's always how it is. <laughs> yep. Yeah, basically. Yep. What was it? I was looking for Mario All Stars <laughs> or something like that, and it was like. For the Wii, and it was like thirty nine dollars for years, and I was like, you know what, fine, I'm gonna just go ahead and get it because I wanted it, and it was at Target, and then it went on, uh, it disappeared from Target, and I'm like, oh no, and then I found it again, and I'm like, let me go ahead and get this so it doesn't like disappear on me again. The moment I bought it, the next week they're like, ah, oh, we're doing a sale for the first time ever, fifty percent off, twenty bucks, and I'm like. <laughs> Great. <clears throat> and I hadn't even played the game either, so it's not like I, I bought it and got my money's worth. It's like, nah, I bought it and it sat there and then it went on sale, so I just missed out on saving. Where's money. the uh San Taco? Oh it's uh I think in the system where the sand is downstairs is the bottom two oh, okay. it's yeah, go basically go downstairs in that little chamber and then go to the last row of ch the last column of chests and it's the bottom two. All right. Let me go here. Oh, I don't have any. How do you make smooth stone again? Like cooking stone, right? I believe so. Okay. Trying to think what's the best way to approach this. It was like, I need ice. And no, I need glass. I have ice. I need slabs. I need slabs and glass, but I need slabs before glass, but I have stuff to make glass. So. Slabs on glass on glass on slabs. <laughs> um, what kind of rice cooker was it, Kiki? Uh, I wasn't nothing fancy, but. Oh, like just aroma or something. Yep, actually, I think that was actually the exact brand. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, I already have one that has that same brand, but it's a three cup one. Ah. I upgraded to a six cup one. Nice. Do I need to do like uh, leave one there for for, this, for the taking out the items and stuff like that? No. If if you're grabbing it from the old system, you could just grab it all. Um, Sounds good. The new system, you'll it you can tell it'll be like a the up chest yeah. and the lower chest, and it'll be all organized, nice and neat. Uh, well, can I? Can I need a chest for this? Dang it! <clears throat> wait, wait! I have one down the hall. Yeah. Yeah, my headache's fading. Okay, it was way. It's been hot. It's been like seventy six degrees in here for a few hours, and I think I'm dehydrated. <laughs> yeah, the weather's been kind of weird lately. It's gonna be. It's gonna be raining the, for the next couple of days, so I think that might be it a little bit. I hate it. I don't like compound weather. I'm like, it either needs to be cold, and nothing else. Or rainy and nothing else. I, uh, agree. I don't want this cold rain might might freeze. I don't. I, I don't mind when it's cold and rainy, but like it needs to. It needs to make a decision. I wanted to see. 
I haven't been down this hallway since it's been, what, is that a little cave or something? <laughs> the elevators are... They're not, they don't have glass in them yet, but... Yep. Or one does, but it's not done yet. Cool, cool. They will be able to get to the bottom floor without taking 800 steps. Well, no. What, 90 steps? Kiki! Yeah. How was your Christmas? Hold up. I'm trying to figure out my trap trolling me or if I'm overthinking this. You're overthinking. Probably am. <laughs> Actually, probably both. Yeah, they, they, she said that that she thought cups were measured by letters, not numbers. Cups. Cups. What do you? I don't know. That's the thing. Cups are measured by. It, it, if it's for me talking about the rice cooker cups or actual cups. Is now both? I, that's what I was going to say, but at the same time, I'm not for sure. Yeah, if you're, if you're talking about clothes, it's letters. If you're talking about measuring like food or drink or liquid or something like that, it's numbers. I think we're talking. Well, it was when I was talking about the rice cooker, so. Okay. I'm being <laughs> I, <laughs> I knew it. Mm -hmm. I had to fall for it. Oh, I was supposed to go down the hall to, uh, I need to eat. Where is my Well, you can just oh, pop well, open the game and jump on Christmas in. Okay. This is always my, like, chill kind of work on gigantic projects over months. Kind of just disconnect from everything, hang out with my buddies kind of game. Yep, it was okay. That was what it Okay. Oh, it was, oh your, your holiday was just okay? Yeah, yeah. They did something different, and I'm not. I wasn't uh, a big fan of it, in my opinion. Uh, but because people are irresponsible, it was kind of forced upon that we had to do it. Oh, uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, I thought yeah. this was a crafting table. Me too, Key. Do we need a crafting table down here? Because. It's down here. Um, in the elo in the woo in the uh in the I ice way. Useful everywhere, but I think I might need to just bring one with me. I mean, is that not part of your arsenal of things to always have on you? No, because I usually like. Let's see, what have we built? We usually put one in what we're building in some way. So like with the with the with the the railway tunnels that we did before, we put one in the entrances and entrances of the tunnels. So it whatever is Yes, is the entrance and the outrance. Outrances. <laughs> yes. Outrances. 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 Okay. Yes, the opposite of entrance. Is outrance. Exit. No, because then it would be an exit. No, it's an exit. No, it's the outrance. Exit. Stage left. Outrance is not exit. the entrance. Kiki. Is. Exit. Is the entrance. Outrance. Exit. It's the outrance, just like the descender layers. That's different. Uh, how is that different? <laughs> it's the same different thing. Word. It's the Exit. same thing. Exit. Nope. 
Oh. Is Outrance is even a word? No, just like how, how Descendilator is not a word. Descendilator isn't a word? No. <laughs> is it not really? No. <laughs> I just sound like a word then. Because I made it sound like a word. Just like outrance is a, a word. Job of outrance. No, that's mm -hmm. not a word. He did a bad job with that one. Well, I'll, I'll take claim to outrance. Wait, I'll take claim to dissimilator <laughs> then. I take claim to both, but you don't agree. I already don't. Okay, how do I? How do you make pains? Is it six? Never mind, I got it. Oh, I could just do this. There we go. Oh no. 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 Sounds like you did something wrong. Where's all my extra? Y'all have any use for sandstone? Not at the moment. Um, cooking it and making it smooth sandstone. <sighs> but not at the moment, like Juan said. I just ruined all the sand that I had to make Can't glass. Can't you revert, revert it back? I wish. Like, really? if, I, if I could go out the forum and be like, please, can I crush sandstone into sand? I mostly don't get lost because I built it. Kiki mostly doesn't get lost because she has a good sense of direction. Juan and Signature always get lost. But yeah. And yes, Outrance, yes. Um. I'm just throwing it in the system because I don't need it. And now I'm going to grab some more sand because. <sighs> there we go. All right. And now I have a crafting table on me so I can make some pains. Okay, then. Oh, God. I need to stop coming up the up here and s hopping around so much. I'm already at like 90% and I don't want to make myself dizzy. All right, back down here, back. Man. So what you gonna make with your new fancy rice cooker, Kiki? Probably rice. rice. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all glad I walked in. Boo! As... If I put anything else besides rice in my rice cooker, the angry rice man on TikTok will be mad. Angry rice man? Well, he just yells at you if you don't wash it. That's about it. Nah, 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 nah. There was this recent Gojujang macaroni made in a rice cooker that I was going to try. And then he duetted it and was very mad about there was macaroni in the rice cooker. <laughs> uh... Is this before tacos time? No, I, I understood what you said. I was just like, it's just, what? it's just this guy that's like, uh, he, uh, so you'll watch people to like use the rice and you're apparently you're supposed to wash your rice and stuff like that. So he'll, yep. Like, J -J he'll watch mad someone about that. not wash the rice and he'll just yell at the person just be like, wash your rice. I yeah. think, I think I'm guilty of that. 
not washing your rice? Yeah. Oh. I didn't I didn't actually like understand it until JW started yelling about it. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, maybe that's why my counter gets all slimy whenever I cook rice. Because the, the, the rice. What kind of rice are you cooking? Just regular rice. It's just because I don't watch it. The starch gets all like, it rises to the top of the cooking thing and like it starts spitting out of the, the, the vent thing that they have. It's all like, and making the counter all slimy. And I'm like, man, this rice cooker sucks. But then after I. Got yelled at by JW. I was like, oh, starch. So I th- now I, I think. I also now buy very expensive rice and it's it, oh, it's so worth it. Oh my God, it's so amazing. Because of what? The quality of it. Okay, so I have a Asian friend. You know, they're, they're more particular about what kind of rice they have okay and see i i go to the store and i buy that little two dollar whatever store-bought grain white or long grain rice and i think it's just fine yeah or some uncle ben but yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that's what i use <laughs> when we have this asian market near us oh H-mart. Don't tell me that. No, not an H Mart. I wish it was an H Mart. Oh my gosh, uh, if it was an H Mart, I would be broke every week. There's no okay, I Kiki. Love it so much. Kiki, we can't move here now. Why? Because there's one not very far away. Oh my god, and I, it's I was... expensive here, so then you would like really not have any money. Uh, yeah, I would be so broke. But we have this other, not. As good Asian market, and night, night, night. I go in there, and my friend she she gets her rice from there. She finds she buys a she buys a fifty pound bag of rice there. I've never. And rice is like, light too, so oh, it's like it's it comes in twenty five pounds and fifty pounds. Oh wow! I bought, I've never bought anything with that weight. I never either, and I was just all like, "Okay, Ow! okay, we're just it, it's it's a it's an investment. It's going <laughs> to appreciate over time." <laughs> I had to very much talk myself into why I'm about to buy a 25 pound bag of rice. Oh my god! And I'm like, okay. and then I go in there, and they're like, thirty nine dollars. I'm like, oh my wallet! I'm like, oh my god, this is the most expensive rice. I only spend this much money. I don't even spend that much money, but the only other time I splurge on food is my ramen. My fancy ramen, which is like $20 for 16 of them that I only treat myself like every few weeks with. Eh, it's like a dollar or something each. That's not that bad. Well, you know, compared to the, you know, like 20 something cent chicken ramen at the stores and stuff. Yeah, the Mari child, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, oh my gosh. And I I finally used it because, you know, me and my ADHD, I'll have one thing be super popular for a few weeks and then next thing you know, I don't touch it for another few weeks and it goes back and forth and I finally finally used that twenty five pound of bag of rice a few weeks ago. Oh my god gosh that the right it, it's still soft when i take it out the refrigerator i was like i thought it was just mean i thought i was just making my rice wrong it's the rice is actually soft it's not like these hard freaking clumps when you're trying to like spoon it out of the big old clunk and it just flies everywhere because it's hard as a rock <laughs> uh, just turns into gravel Yes. <laughs> this rice is actually soft, and it and it's like oh, I'm like oh my gosh, it's the quality. It's always been the quality. It's not never been me. It's always the quality. Oh, I just realized it, I didn't it's grab that so glass. good. <laughs> so as far as like cooking it 
or preparing it. Um, does it like cook faster? Or they're like, does it have like not as much starch? Like, mm, or is it about the same? I don't know if there's any. Well, I feel like there's not as much starch because I don't. I feel like I don't have to wash it as much as I had to do like the regular like store bought ones. Okay. Hmm. Store bought ones. I feel like I'd be washing forever, and then this one I only have to wash like two, maybe three times. Depending on how particular I'm going to be that day. Yeah, still. I still don't have like a reference as far as like washing it. Because like you said, wash it until the water long. runs clear. And I'm like, yep. I don't know how long that takes. <laughs> you wash it until the water runs clear. What do you mean you don't know how long I never that washed it. I don't know. And then I had this one strainer that's like, or colander, whatever you want to call it. And I was like, why are the holes so tiny? Why is it like a tiny little mesh gate? And then I look at my other colanders and I'm like, yeah, they're like bowls with holes in them. And then I realized that <laughs> it's a rice washer. It's oh not a, God. it's not a, it's not a colander. And I'm like, oh, I've been using this thing like a colander for years. And it's not, it's a rice washer. And it's because I saw JW using it and I'm like, oh. That's why that one's weird, and like stuff gets stuck in it all the time because it's not supposed to strain. So, yeah. Yeah, we tend to get on food topics a lot. It's one of our There's big, purple bed. big uh, topics. I'm getting a little hungry too. <laughs> I thought Kiki was the only one who had purple beds. I think I I don't remember, but I think because everybody's having purple beds. You should change the color. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have the blue not one. red, any color but red. I have the blue one. Okay. Or orange. Well, you could do orange. You'd be like, I stole it from Camp Kiki. I'm not changing. I'm sticking with purple. You can't make me. No, no. You, you, purple is your color. Red is old school bed. Um, orange is Camp Kiki. And then you can pick any of the other colors. Ratioed by my chat. What? I hate you, Green. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've been doing these stupid towers for one, two, three, four of them. And I missed a row. And I got L plus fell off plus ratioed for it. It's okay, Taco. I, you, you don't have to understand. I can't believe uh, my chat it's, is so uh, they're, they're The slang has gotten too young for us. <laughs> I was like, I've heard of ratio. <laughs> or it's like more negative than positive, but I don't get how Kiki's using it. Yeah, the ratio Kiki. <laughs> making fun of me. How did you get outside the wall? Oh, well, I guess you're going to have a hard knock life of living. Oh, well. <laughs> My chat speed. Yeah, they're in full force today. It really are. Uh, like, uh, Merry Christmas, like, Kiki's <laughs> chat. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what did I do to deserve that? Well, I do. I know what I did. I missed the whole row. Uh, All because I made this wall like freaking, well, made this tower four times. 
have to remember I've made it four times, like one every freaking week. Not even every week because it's like I don't even get I have to do the wall part before I can do the tower part. And the tower was off? No, I skipped the row. And I was all like, why can't they put my butt in here? Because of this trap door. And it's worked every four other towers I've made. Uh, and it was because I skipped the row that made it one up. And then it was supposed to be that row for the How buttons. far do you have to backtrack? Oh, not far. It was only one layer. Ah, okay. Usually when I miss stuff, it's like, oh, <laughs> you got to tear half of it down now. Oh, yeah, no, nah, no. Nah. It was only one layer because the layer I skipped, <laughs> I went straight to the button layer, but I can't play the place the buttons down because there's trap doors sitting on top of fence gates. So the trap door is on the block above oh. the fence gate. And so I had already put the layer that had the button on the trap door layer. So it wouldn't work, and so I, I was all like, okay, that, that's easy. I couldn't continue, unlike you who could continue half the time when you're doing yours. Yeah, I get in these weird, like like just earlier, I was like, I need to put down slabs and I need to put down glass. The slabs need to go down first, but I only have supplies for glass. So I gotta make a decision. Oh, and the knees need glass, too. Oh. I mean, at least you didn't put the slabs and the glass and the glass and the slabs. Actually, I, I actually could put all the glass down. It's just make the, then putting the slabs afterward would be a headache. Because you have to, like, position your cursor, like, right under the edge. And sometimes you have to crouch, probably. This is complicated, and it's probably a very easy, simple task. Yes, because my brain is particular and it's like, uh, put it right there and then I'll start holding my breath and then I'll, <sighs> and then I'll get frustrated. Mass thinking when he doesn't need to. It's my design brain. I can't help it. That's why it takes me like three whole streams to get this glass and these slabs down. And then y'all can do it in like hat like an hour. So even right now, I'm like, I need slabs. I have enough space to get some slabs. I just don't. Oh, and I can chop those things in half. Okay. I'm taking all the smooth stone if nobody gets there before me. I probably shouldn't have said that. Now everybody gonna run. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna sit here and mine out the cave. And you're gonna be mad at me, so it's fine. Wait, what? Oh no, oh, uh, let's see. That I put the button row down. Now time to go to this side and put the button. What about a cave? I gotta make sure I don't miss. Oh, I don't have any scaffolding to reach this. What well, cave? Curse you, Ping. Hey, me Ping! Merry Christmas. Oh, Ping's not here. Ping just always gets mad every time I don't use scaffolding when I'm going towering up. Oh. We ain't got OSHA. We, we just, just hang off the edge. You can't hang off the edge, and you can't reach the edge. Oh, why is this? Okay, there we go. Alright. Over to the fancy house. Did somebody just run by like a horror movie? What the hell? That was probably me. Okay, yeah, it was. <laughs> I saw this dark figure just dart off to the left. And it's raining outside, so everything's a little bit more dark. Ugh. Time that wrong. Whoa! Oh, never mind. <clears throat> All right. La la la. Oh, oh, what's happening? Oh, I'm stuck in a spider web. Oh, I'm stuck again. Okay.
out of the hundreds of times, well, probably not hundreds, out of the tens of times that I've ran past Deep's house, I've never got caught in one of the spider webs until just now. Is it nighttime? No, totally not. I'm gonna go to bed. Well, whatever make you think that. Sometimes when it's raining, it's not nighttime. Really? Yep. What would it be then? <laughs> A noon thunderstorm. Um. Nah, because you can still technically sleep through thunderstorm, so that would still maybe classify it as nighttime. Oh, did y'all see that snack that I got? Snack? Wait, was that a snack that you posted? Yeah. What the fudge is it? It's te it's called Texas Trash. Why do I feel like I've heard that? Yes, we've talked about it before. <laughs> and every Christmas, trash. I get some. And I eat <laughs> almost all of it immediately. It's in the Texas trash. Uh, oh my god. Okay, cool. Uh, I had to eat this uh, fish like four times for it to actually go down. Alright, um, it is Chex Mix, Cheerios, Peanuts, um, Captain Crunch. You recently started adding the Crunch Captain Crunch with Crunch Berries, which I'm not. Hate it. I I Hate I it. prefer it without the Crunch Berries. Hate the Crunch Berries. Yeah. So. And then pretzels. This just sounds like trail mix to me. Um, uh, there's no nuts. Oh, well, did you say peanuts? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I can hear. I can. I can see the trail mix factor. Yeah, and then I think that's it. Is that and the it, only thing in it? Well, and then, and it's all like covered in whatever white chocolate, I guess, or whatever the thing is that holds everything together. Why does this almost just seem like a more advanced version of Puppy Chow? Yes, that's what we said last time. You were talking about the Puppy Chow, which I was like, that's dog food. <laughs> you, why are you also not the only person that thought I meant dog food? Because there's a brand food. of dog food called Puppy Chow. Yes, I'm totally going to feed you Puppy Chow. Don't, Kiki. <laughs> I don't like dog food. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> totally. So I'm like, is it is it dog chow and puppy chow are the two brands? Probably. But yeah. I'm running down this hall, but I don't think I'm prepared. No, I'm prepared. Yeah, let's go. Now, why are you acting like you're about to go into some giant boss battle or something? What do you need to prepare for? So, I need to put the slabs down first and then put the glass. Oh, that monster. I forgot about it. And I was running down the hall like I had everything I needed. And most of the time... As soon as I get to start placing the first block, I'm like, oh, I didn't even grab it. But, uh. There we go. Put down all the slabs. And hopefully by that time. Maybe all the glass will be ready. Oh yeah, the key. My Christmas was back to the traditional days. Like kind of the opposite of what she said. Where it's we had a wheat well not wheats a party, but we played we uh at my mom's house. 
and then we went to my in-laws house and had the traditional meal that they normally do which i was like oh yes this is what i've been wanting for years and then we did gifts and then we went home and then we got up and oh then we slept in which i haven't been able to do for a long time and then uh went to my other in-laws house and did, had a traditional breakfast, did, did, did gifts, and then went to my mom's house and played Wii games with my nieces who are older now and can play games, which made it uh, a lot better. We- made it quite the competition because now it's like you don't feel as bad crushing them because they actually understand how to play the game. It's it's bo- it's a it's like fifty percent that, and then fifty percent. Oh my god, they're gonna beat me one day. So it's like my last days of like being reigning champion. So I got to like enjoy it, but not enjoy it too much, but enjoy it enough to where, because the, the like this might be my last, this might be my last year being a winner. Like, I don't know. And we played big brain Academy. Have y'all. I've heard, heard of it. Yeah, I've heard of it. I don't think I've ever played it though. Oh, I wish. Oh, maybe the Switch version can. I I would love to play it with y'all. <laughs> but um Yeah, it was basically like um Let's say there's a moving picture and there's a square cut out and then there's three suggested squares at the um as your multiple choice answers and you have to figure out which one of those three fits in that cutout. Um, then they like blur an image and slowly unblur it. You have to guess what it is the fastest. Kind of like trivial pursuit kind of. Uh, maybe I'm not sure. Is it like any of like the jackpot, jackpot party games? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's like both of those games I don't I haven't either played or played very much of. Um I guess let's say it's two person Jeopardy. Okay. Except instead of a question where you have to know trivia or knowledge, it's a puzzle of some sort. And it's like a split screen. So it's like I have my puzzle and you have your puzzle. Whoever gets it first um, wins. It's a uh, it's really fun because then we like after us like competing against each other. Like the, as soon as we started the game, I uh, I couldn't remember exactly which which like game mode we played. Oh, I need glass. I'm done with the slabs. Got 38 glass, which will make like six glass. <laughs> uh, and then we put down the crafting table. Um, yeah, we played. Uh, we picked a mode. It was like not marathon, because the marathon one we ended up teaming up for the first time since we've had the game. We always done the marathon solo, which was. Interesting. Um, but uh, what is the other one called? There's one that's kind of like a like a game, like a board game. And it, you're not moving around, but like you pick different slots and try to uh, well, kind of like uh, the it's like just like Je- Jeopardy, where you're like, I'll pick this square up in the top left corner. And then if you win. Oh, you basically do a bunch of multiple choice questions and you have like 30 seconds. So however many questions you can get right in those 30 seconds, that's how many points you score. And as soon as you get one wrong, it, it ends the uh, ends the thing. So you could, and it also it uh, automatically rotates the difficulty. So it's like, oh, I'm good at like Puzzle Mania. And they'd be like, expert. And you're like, ah, oh, crap. <laughs> you get the first one wrong. Zero. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so we did the, uh, competition one first, 
where it's a uh, one on one, and I, I, I still have a trouble holding my breath. So it's like as soon as the, as soon as it starts, I'm like, oh, okay, and then three plus three is six. This, 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 this is bad. And this is over on the left. And this is over on the right. <gasps> okay. <laughs> Um, so I went through and like challenged almost everybody. My mom didn't want to, um, challenge me, but I, I went through and like beat everybody and won like one round. Other people wanted warm up rounds and I'm like, oh crap. It's like I won, but then, now they're warmed up. So maybe they, maybe they'll get me the second round, but I ended up just cleaning house the whole, like just went through the, through everybody. And I'm like, okay, cool. I'm the champ. I'm out. <laughs> I'm gonna go get something to drink and watch everybody else play. Um, but then once we got to the um, the marathon one, it uh, we all teamed up, and it's kind of like a relay where like you get three puzzles, and the next person gets three. And um, what was it? Uh, we set a record, and then the second time around, everybody was ready, and then it got like down to the wire where we're like. We have five seconds. It's like, how many how many questions can you answer in five seconds? And you're like, bam, 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 I got all three. And you hand it to the next person and they're like, okay, it's one second left. Can we get through like just one? And then like, it pops up, you answer one and then you get to the second one and you're like, oh my God. And then the timer goes off and we're like, ah! So it was like super, super exciting and crazy. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I really like that game. <laughs> it's like my mom has a copy, I have a copy, and then we um, somebody gave me a switch, and now I have a co I have the newest version for that one. I'm curious if it has like online multiplayer. So like if maybe one day we all get a copy, then we can play it. Maybe it sounds interesting. Oh, it's, it's so what's it called? Uh, Big Brain Academy. Um, I would say watch the game grumps play it because Danny like kind of does what I do where it's like you kind of like you just focus and you kind of just sl like slightly mumble what you're thinking like with the you know like, and then it's two plus two is four and then you do it and then you do it and then you do that and I'm like that's, that's exactly what I do and it's so funny when he switches into that mode because like as soon as he's done then he's all talking normal like he normally does and then as soon as it's his turn again he's like and then two plus two is four <laughs> it's just it's so funny uh, how much more glass did I have Oh, I have 32 in my pocket. Alright, let's make some more. <laughs> Is this the last stream of the year? Other than tomorrow? For yeah. power hour, sure, I think. Oh, this is the last power hour of the year. Alright. New Year's resolution. Uh, stream more, get a job, uh, walk more, and because that helps me, I'm gonna die. Yep. Oh my uh, god. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, stream more, get a job, uh, walk more, exercise, and stuff like that. Um. um I think that's pretty much it. I think, and yeah, okay. socialize. Try to socialize a little bit more. Okay. Kiki. Uh, no comment. <laughs> you no fun. Uh. I would say one for Kiki is TwitchCon again. That's not a New Year resolution. I already, I'm already going to the next one. Oh, you already signed up and everything. Well, I mean, whenever it comes out, I already know what hotels to book and when to look for plane tickets and stuff. 
teach me, Kiki. Maybe I'll go to TwitchCon. Please. What? Give me the inside scoop. I don't know. I don't know what inside scoop you want. I I just use my my parents' um, timeshare junk. Oh. Well, teach me the plain stuff then. Um, I just use Southwest and I wait until they're um I wait until they're mid. It's like, I think it's like mid of the year sale on plane tickets. They have Ooh. plenty of yearly tickets, but I usually wait until then. I think that was like the biggest, usually. Okay. But I'm just particular. I very much only buy Southwest. Same. Because why should I have to pay for my luggage? And I also only, and I also only do nonstop because I don't, oh, I mean, I don't only do nonstop. Sometimes it's not possible. I do. Yeah, it depends on like where you're flying from. Yeah. It's like, I only do Southwest and I only do nonstop. And I'm like, well, I, Southwest, I, isn't Southwest in a lot of trouble these days because all the cancellations and stuff. Yeah. And I'm like. Yeah. yeah, they're in trouble for that, but hey, uh, that's helpful for me if it makes it cheaper. I just don't, I don't fly in a winter. I have a little bit of common sense to know not to do that. Oh, in the winter, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm like, I, planes, uh, I'm, mm -mm, I'm, uh, are you too, not a fan? I'm not a big fan of planes. I get it. So no, I'm like, I'm terrified. Huh? I'm terrified of riding a plane. Yeah, so I'm like, I've gotten like I I trust Southwest to not be crazy, and the least amount of planes I can I have to get on, the better. So I'm like, hey Southwest, can I just get on one plane and then you drop me off there, and then a couple days later, can I get on one plane and then you drop me off at home for not an arm and a leg? And they're like, don't sure. And I'm like, cool. For that? Hmm. I don't know, because I never looked. How do you get tickets then? I just looked. I'm like, I look at nonstop. And I'm like, cool, that's the price. I don't I don't see what's cheaper or how many. Like, mm, let me do seven stops and it'll be five bucks. And I'm like, I don't care. I want to get on one plane. And then I want to get off the plane and be where I need to be. And that's already a, a enough anxiety as it is. And it's like, I got to keep myself together because Ray Ray gets anxiety too. So I'm like, I, it's already enough for me to keep my cool. So Ray Ray can keep her cool. And then I want to do that twice. And then that's it. <laughs> and last time we were coming back, they hit like a thunderstorm and like the plane dropped. I don't know if it dropped like an inch or 10 feet or whatever, but it was very hard to keep my cool because everybody in the plane was like, ah! and then Ray Ray looked straight at me and I'm like, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, nonstop the brand I know and please get me there safely. Technically planes are the safest uh, form of uh, I hear that. I hear that too. Five. But was, but cars uh, don't drop ten feet out of the sky, so yes. <laughs> or however many feet it was. You also have to worry about other cars <clears throat> and other drivers. True. But we're not in the sky. That's that's true. Like, yeah, it's it's a whole. And we're not going as fast as a plane. Yeah, I, I completely. That's when I first started doing TwitchCon and I had to ride in a plane by myself. That was like my biggest fear. And everybody's all like, well, you know, flying in the plane is like the most safest. I was like, I don't give a care if it's 100% guarantee that I'm going to make it there alive. 
I'm still terrified of it. Yeah, so I'm like... I mean, you could take the train. The train is also relatively safe. Does it go there? I always want to ride on a train. If it goes there, I might be up for the... Well, that depends on how much time you know, I have. days ahead of time, you're gonna have Yeah, to I was like, I was like, <laughs> like uh, I need to take three weeks off. Good luck having your job when you get back. And I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm just taking a leave of absence real quick. <laughs> my, two day, my three day event. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm like, hey, where's Saka? And they're like, oh, he took a leave of absence to go to a convention. He'll be back in three weeks. Because <laughs> I were going by train. <laughs> well, trains. Well, yeah, that's true. I was about to say, like, from, uh, from Florida to, because I took a sleeper train and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Um, from Florida to Virginia, it took like a day, uh, like a like a night and day kind of thing. So it wasn't it wasn't that bad. Okay. But. I mean, it depends on where it is. Yeah, I think on that coast, there's more trains, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, the East Coast definitely has a lot more trains than the West Coast. Maybe, I don't know. Or the Midwest or the South, I don't know. But I don't know. Do they know where the next Twitch on is going to be yet? I need more sand. Two towers done. I got one side of the wall done. Uh, where is the next TwitchCon going to be? Oh, it hasn't been announced yet. There, it was last year, or I guess technically this year. It's not the New Year's yet. This year was in Vegas. But that that's be because easy. they said that they waited so late. So they couldn't get to San Diego. But the Wait, late video, again. Hmm? Wait late again. I know I'm comfortable going to Vegas in a nah, plane. I, rumor has it that they booked a multi year um, contract oh. for this next one, and a lot of people are pretty sure it's going back to San Diego. They should go to New York just for selfish reasons. <laughs> uh... Like, I'll just drive. I mean, I can just take the bus. <laughs> That's what a lot of people was talking about. They say that they should like make it in different cities, so it's like you get different experiences and stuff like that. But like, like the because Olympics. Of how, yeah, but because of how big it is, they have to make sure there's like venues that are big enough to be able to host it. Because I will say, when I went to the what was it, San Jose one? Okay, why is there zombies in the village? Oh my gosh, I don't. There, talk, you need more lighting in your village. Mm -hmm. There's a zombie that's just slaughtering villagers left and right. Why are you just watching? Because I'm trying to figure out how he survived that long. Oh, well, thing is, there's like multiple. So I couldn't get them all. I was like, saw like at least four of them. Yeah, eagle eye sharpshooter, you got it. You're just saying that because the iron golems won't get me if I accidentally strike down the wrong person. Akko, are you looking for sand? Huh? Are you looking for sand? Um, or glass? Um, no, glass, yes. Glass is by my, um, by my, by my thing. My thing. <laughs> You'll notice a very, uh. My furnace situation is is not very environmentally friendly. Oh, you smoking us out up here? Oh, I guess it's because there's no roof. It's fine. Do I just grab what I need? Or? Yeah, grab what you need. There's there should be more in that chest. Oh, just sand, but. 
I'm on the second elevator, so I'm almost done. Okay. Click, but whatever it was, it's gone. What happened? I clicked something and it moved from where it was. I don't know where it went because I don't know what I clicked. And I know it didn't go in the furnace. glass which means I can make <coughs> 300 no 300 no 360 pains Seems like too many, but it also seems like the right amount. I need to eat a fish. That's what I moved. Oh, my New Year's resolutions. Similar to last year. Uh, career move. I am ready to move to a different job with all <laughs> the problems I've been describing this year. I am ready to move on. Um, um, the other one is keep up physical activity. Halfway through the year, I decided to Start moving around, doing stuff. Um, got back into tennis. I've missed it. Didn't know I was missing it so much. Um, <clears throat> and fix the house is still on the list. I haven't I haven't done anything to fix the house except except move some I, I did some stuff in the kitchen which helped me start cooking again so that's good yeah so like I did like a one percent of the fixed house thing and then I did start cooking again so um and then as far as like content and stuff like that it's I haven't figured out my plan yet so I'm just gonna put figure out my plan I did find out some cool stuff this week so um, I tried to use it and I don't know what to do yet but it is a really cool thing that I found um, <coughs> but yeah um, yeah streaming and content goals is still there I didn't really act on it because I was busy trying to f like figure out my working new job career. yeah i was working out my career exactly um so next year is career move and then continue education um if i can nail down the whole content thing um plan keep moving and work on the house Yeah. It's like it's not a huge change. It's kind of like the same thing that I did that I planned for this year is just more of it. So. Yeah, just stay the course. Keep keep going. Ah. 
Oh, man. The year is basically over. It is. Did you have a good year? I think so. It, Yeah, I think so. It started off in Florida, and then I moved back to New Jersey. So, and then I came back in June, and these past six months have just been absolutely insane in a good way. Mm -hmm. And uh, one bad way, but that's that doesn't count. Uh, it does count, but doesn't count. Um... Um, but yeah, it, things have been like slowly progressing and stuff like that. So I don't know. It's been, it's been going. Okay. Uh, no. No? Okay. Yeah, no. <laughs> okay, sorry to hear that. Is it due to things out of your control or plans not going the way you Due want? to things out of my control. Okay. But that's life as yeah. much as we need. I would say for me, the year is has gone in a... It, the year progressed like like I didn't stay still I did start new things and um, I'm progressing through them um, I would say stress wise and emotional wise this has been like a horrendous year <laughs> as far as like mental state but to cope with all of that, I just, I'm just keep pushing forward, gathering all the tools I can to like just keep going. Um, but and it's like I don't know, I don't know what to do to fix one thing, which is kind of I guess I. I'm just going to assume it's out of my control because I've tried, I've tried multiple different approaches and it's just not working. Um, so I'm just going to give up, which I never do. Um, towards this you gotta yeah, I was like, I, it. I, and it's like, it's not, it's kind of like how Kiki said, it's like things that are out of her control. It's, I don't think I'm compatible with the situation. So I'm going to stop trying to brute force it and I'm just going to move on. And it, to me, I kind of feel like that's giving up because it's like, you're not going to try anymore, but I think it's, it's something that I can't, I can't fix. So I'm going to move on with that. <laughs> there is an aspect of it that I'm, I'm going to be stubborn about. And I, I will fix it or completely ruin it <laughs> just out of stubbornness. Um, but other than that, um, I got plans, stay in the course. Um, as far as was this a good year? Yes. Overall, this was a good year. I'm in a better position than I was a year before. Actually, no, I was, I'm in a very much better position than I was a year ago. Um, so, yes. Things have gone in a very positive direction. Um. In comparison, <laughs> if you just look at this year, um, things are progressing. I'm getting things done. But I'm stressed. <laughs> and it's I can't do anything. I, I can't fix this situation because I am just not compatible with it. So I'm going to move on. 
Um, so yeah, my goals for next year are to progress as much as I did this year, next year, and be in a better, be in a different environment. Because it's not going to be that much of a change. I do, I think I'm still, I, I, I'm going to assume that I'm still not going to be compatible f with the next move I make. And if that ends up being true, then I know, I know the reason why. Um, but yeah, I will wait to figure that part out. <clears throat> and yeah, um, hopefully next year we'll be streaming again at the end of the year and we can go over it. And I'm like, yep, I, <laughs> I am still incompatible. <laughs> But um, the elevators are done, Taco. Awesome. We need ice. And then we need to build out the uh, the base. I feel like I need to take a screenshot of what we have built because Kiki modified it to where. We don't have to leave sideways <laughs> or at a at an angle because of the yeah because of the fences you put in the hanging fences. Oh yeah, I was like, what did I get? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it made it even better because we don't have to put side pieces on anymore. So. Um, so let's see. The bottom has the three glass panes. And then the rest of it is solid blocks. And then up at the top is panes again. But then the two rows. I, I really had the urge to be like, okay, cool. I got it. And then just jump down the elevator chute. I only have four pains. I only have four pains. But yeah. Just keep on going. Oh, and then the iceway needs to be put down here, so this is going to be different. thing on me no I left it upstairs of course okay hmm I have to decide how is this gonna be down with the toasty toasty unprotected lava blades not blades lava columns pleasure <laughs> Um, I think this is the right way. You ever gone down a tunnel and then went to sleep and then get popped up and then you're like in the middle of the tunnel so you don't know which direction you were going? Sometimes. Yeah. That sounds like an easy way to get lost. Yeah. Luckily, this tunnel's not like fully built, so like I can see the unfinished parts and I'm like, okay, it's not that direction. But yeah, that was 
disorienting for like a second and a half. And to your left is the pathway to the warden. That would be really funny. No. Is if the place that I like. Oh no. So which tunnel did you want me to expand again, Taco? I'll be right down. Oh no. So what? <laughs> um, so this elevator shaft right here is three blocks deep, right? So we got this row right here, which is the side of the um, one, two, three. Yeah, it's one, two, three. Well, this 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 side this part that I'm walking on right here is uh the side of the iceway, right? Yeah. And then that counts as one. And then we have the water chute, which is right here, which is one block away from the yeah. There's iceway, and then we have one more block in the back. So. One, two, three, four. Yeah, there's. So yeah. you need to make this bigger then. No. So we got one, two, three, four. These elevators are one block too. Over two. So far. tear this down then. <laughs> um. Yes. Room. Remove this back wall. And the elevator chute should be here. So basically this uh, like this needs to be shifted over one block oh, okay. into That's the bad. Yeah, I'm sorry. Right, let me go get the comic again. Cause I was looking at uh I was looking at it at the bottom and I'm like So the the hole should be right here then. Yes. Okay. But everything else is fine. Um the both of them are back one block too far. Uh Okay, hold on. Let me just get pick a right column. Uh, oh, so, so let's see what I can do is I'm gonna put stone down here. Do I have stone on me? No, I don't. Uh. Don't fall down, don't fall down. Don't fall down. Man. This part of the world is cursed. I haven't miscalculated so much in my life. Here. Yes. 
and then uh, do I need to move anything else or um it's like so the, okay so if you dig that straight down yes and then here put um put glass oh <laughs> uh Oh, put glass right here. Yeah, glass all the way down, and they okay. remove these three completely in the back here. Oh, okay. I can do that. Yeah. It's because I'm trying to line up the bottom with mm -hmm. the top. Because up, up on the surface, this is what the top looks like. But then at the bottom, it doesn't have these accent pieces. like a rage room. Oh, are you doing it too? Yeah. Have y'all heard of those rage rooms? I have. What rooms? Rage rooms. Rage. I thought you said rage. Yes, I have heard of those rage rooms. What do y'all think about those? I think that's kind of cool. I can go in there and smash things. Ugh, satisfying. <laughs> yeah, I think they're pretty interesting. Um, from what I heard, it it for some people it has the opposite effect. It like brings out more. Well, isn't that the whole point, kind of? Well. From what I heard, it's supposed to be like a stress, re like a like a like a release. Yes. But with, from what I've heard, that it like, it's more of like an enable thing instead of a release. Like someone who normally wouldn't like release that type so I'm of just energy. That out, uh, these three. Yes. And then. We'll need we'll need th those the three that you're removing from the back. We'll need to put them in the front up here. So like this whole fanciness can be removed until. Oh, 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 oh okay, okay. Yeah. Um. Until the wall gets put there, and then. Come on, what's happening? There we go. Yeah, so um for some people it's a relief uh release and like it gets out that energy, but for some people it gives it like brings out that energy for someone who normally can keep it under wraps. And I'm like, that's interesting. 
I think for me it'd be more of a release because I played sports and stuff like that. It's like, like this year when I started playing tennis and I was able to like just, just smack the crap out of these tennis balls. I'm like, ah, oh, this feels so good. Instead of just being like, just stressed and like, just dealing with it. But as far as like the rage, I don't know. It's like I have I have anxiety about glass, like shards of glass. So I don't know if that room would be productive for me. Well, you're wearing protective stuff. Still, you have like a mask on or like a glasses on and stuff like that, and still you're wearing like protective stuff. Still, so like my whole situation, I think I had brought it up before, is like. When we, when I was, me and my sister were children, um, back when mayonnaise came in um, glass jars, which it, some brands might still do that, but most most things come in plastic. Um, my sister grabbed it out of the fridge and um, dropped it, and I was on the other side of the kitchen, and a shard of glass flew across the kitchen and hit me in the leg. And for some reason that like just just glass just I don't know, I have anxiety against glass. So being in a room, even though I have protective equipment and all that kind of stuff, I'm like, shards of glass can be tiny. That's true. So I'm like somebody's just like, ah smash and like it's just projectiles just fly and I'm like, I can't. Now, if it feels like pottery and stuff like that. Then I'm like, I think I'd be more okay with it. I think, I think for me, the gl like glass, I'm not, I'm not okay with like a bunch of smashing glass around me. When's the last time y'all used the backpack? Oh. Uh, yesterday actually, or like I uh. I have my, uh, just to put some clothes in for spending the weekend at my grandmother's house. Okay, so like for short trips and stuff like that, you use a backpack yeah. instead of like a suitcase? Yeah, I mean, I have a carry-on like to, like for your smaller trips and stuff like that, and I have the actual suitcase, but I have, yeah, my backpack is like, it, it can, it's pretty dirty and stuff like that, so like yeah, I can have a couple of clothes in there, my laptop. My switch and stuff like that, so it's a little bit of everything. Okay. Kiki. Backpack as in like a regular backpack? Yeah. Or any other backpack if you use something different. So I'm get just getting rid of this taco. This three is. Yeah. So the three in the front that'll be all glass, just like how you had it in the back. I use a backpack every time I go bowling because I keep my bowling equipment in a backpack. Ah, uh, so I'm trying to get a tennis bag and I noticed that all the, like half the tennis bags turned into backpacks. And I'm like, I don't, this newfangled system, I don't, I'm not, I'm not Let's on get board. a duffel bag. I, I have a duffel bag. We've had a duffel bag that holds the tennis balls and it's been... It's like a d more than a decade old, I'm assuming, and it's just shredded and falling apart. So I'm like, I don't want to use a duffel bag. Like, there's actual tennis bags that I can put my rackets and stuff like that in. And for my Christmas gifts, I was like, oh, I'm gonna get a racket bag for the first time. And I'm like, I've been playing tennis 
for like 25 years and I've never had an actual tennis bag. Like uh, people on my team had it, but I've never had the money to actually get one. And then I go and look and they're like, oh, it's 15 bucks. And I'm like, because uh, the ones that I, that I like they bought, they were like 60, which is why I wasn't able to afford one back then. But now I feel like it's like a really cheaply made one. And I'm like, I'm not spending sixty bucks on it. I'm like, I I went twenty five years without even having one. I'm not gonna spend sixty bucks on a bag for tennis, even though I love tennis so much. But um, yeah, for a backpack, I use one at work because we have a laptop bag, and um, uh, and and then somebody bought me one as a gift, and I don't want to transfer my stuff over, so I have two backpacks. <laughs> so I'm the weirdo at weirdo at work with two backpacks, um. And I, um, what was it? Oh, yeah, the place that I hang out during break, uh, somebody came by and he was carrying way too much stuff, which I'm like, see, that's why I got two backpacks. Um, and like he dropped something, like maybe an inhaler or something, something small and like loud. And I was like, oh, I, I was like, oh, let me get, and he like reached down to get it and like almost dropped more stuff. And then he's like, nah, I'm, he said something. Uh, and I'm just going to assume he said, nah, I'm good. So I was like, okay. And I kind of like stepped back and then he swung his backpack around and his backpack was unzipped. So I guess he, as he was on his way to wherever he was going, he was like digging through his bag and trying to grab the stuff that he needed, which I was like, you could do that when you get to the place, but this guy was having uh, not having a good time. He was like multitasking like crazy, and um, so once he swung his backpack around, um, he like grabbed the little thing that fell and like unzipped this little compartment and put it in there and zipped it back up. And then I looked at his backpack, and there were so many compartments. It looked like monkey bread. It was so many little pockets and zippers and little pouches. And I'm like, he already was kind of like, nah, I'm good. So I, I really wanted to ask him what kind of backpack that was because it had so many pockets. But I, I was like, yeah, basically he always like, yeah, like go away. So I'm just, <laughs> I'm gonna move on. But yeah, I've never seen a backpack that had that many pockets. It was crazy and I wish I wish I would have been more annoying and just asking what kind of backpack that was because maybe he would have been like oh yeah this is a cool backpack and he would have been all like cool to talk about it but he like he already looked like he was in a hurry and he already was like nah I'm good and I was like I don't want to hold you up I'll just wonder was, are you going to see him again uh, he works in the same building so maybe but yeah where I hang out not a lot of people go to so it's like it's not like it's the break room where I'll just like see him immediately later on the next day but uh yeah it was a really cool fact I don't think I would have a use for it because I don't have a bunch of little small stuff but it's it was cool looking It kind of looked flimsy too, which is kind of why why I feel like he dropped some stuff. But and I feel like I, I feel like if I had that many pockets, I would lose stuff. I'm like, where's my USB C cable? <laughs> and it's like in one of those fifty pockets on your backpack. Do your gas stations pumps play commercials? Say it again. Do the gas station pumps that you go to play commercials? Oh well, <laughs> in New Jersey they pump your own. They pump gas for us. So interesting. Okay, because I know they. I think they did that in Oregon. 
they did it in Oregon, but then they stopped doing it. Interesting. Like recently? But when I was or... in Florida, they definitely did play ads, and I was like, this is dumb. <laughs> Oh, so was it was it like a weird transition for you to like pump your own gas? Not really. Like I've done it before, so it wasn't like, what am I doing? Like this is like a foreign concept to me. So I, I know what, and it has like instructions on it, so it was pretty easy to do. So, but I will say I would forget like to close the gas cap, the gas cap, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I'd be driving and I'd be I'd hear this noise. It's like what is this? And then I'd look over and like, oh, I forgot to screw it back on. Oh, so it'd be like hanging off and like banging against the car. Yeah. Like, what is that noise? Like, oh, it's my own. It's my own fault. Okay, that's a, that's an interesting like concept because the last person, last person that I knew that um that um had that situation, like they drove up and there was nobody there and they're like, oh, what do I do? And it was like a like a issue for like a couple seconds. So interesting. Interesting. I, f I would feel weird. I haven't seen the opposite where like you pull up and then you get out and they're like, oh, did you need something? It's like, oh, no, I'm just going to like, no, we got it. And you're like, huh? <laughs> like, it's well, some stranger putting gas in my car. I've always, I I'm the only person who puts gas in my car. Like, it's interesting because I'm even weird once. about the huh? Go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. I'm even weird about the, like the brand. I'm like, I go to one, maybe two brands. Like, I don't just, oh, that gas is cheaper and go over there. Nope. I'm like, I got two chains that I go to and I got both of the apps. So, yeah. I'm like, I'm like really particular as far as like putting gas in my car. Yeah, I have heard of stories of like people almost like, getting into arguments with uh, people like they do a road trip to like they're passing New Jersey and they get gas and all of a sudden like people are by the gas can't or by, like by their gas and like what are you doing and it's like this is like and then they realize oh yeah we're in New Jersey so yes interesting it's kind of like car hops or it's like instead of this restaurant having one drive through Technically, there's 40 drive throughs <laughs> Or I guess drive-ups, because you don't yeah. keep Sonic moving. Yeah, that a lot, I think. Yeah, yeah, they, uh, yeah, that's the one one restaurant here that does that, where you, like, there's, like, 40 little pull-up spots, and you just order. Even me with the app, I'm like, all right, I'm heading to there, so before I start up my car, let me put my order in, and then send and then by the time I get there it's ready yeah sometimes it depends on like the location like if it's like a place I've never been before like I'll go there and place my order but if it's a place I've been before sometimes I'll do it like beforehand and walk in and sometimes I'll walk out with the food and it'll be like nice but I don't mind waiting. It also depends on like what I'm waiting for, I guess. For it's weird because it's like I'm on both sides of the situation when it's a place that I know and it's like I know exactly what I want to get and I don't want to be I don't want to get in line and hold somebody else up while I'm putting my order in because I know exactly what I want to get and I know exactly what I want to customize. So to help the person that's going to be in line behind me, I want to have my order already submitted. And I'm like, I drive up and I'm like, here's my code and then go. And then for me, I'm like, I also don't want you to take my order wrong. Right. And then by the time I get there, I want my food to be ready to go. So it's like, I don't want to inconvenience myself by having to go through the whole process when I get there. I'm just going to go ahead and go do my do my part, <laughs> send you the submitted order. And then when I get there, just hand me my food so I can go. And then I don't want to get in line and slow other people down. So it's like a weird thing. When it's a new place, 
then that's when it gets really weird. Cause it's like, I don't know what I want. And there's a bunch of people in line who do. So you look at the menu beforehand and be like, okay. Yep. So I go stand off to the side in a weird spot to where everybody who passes me be like, are you in line? I'm like, nope. No, go ahead. <laughs> like, and then everybody in line goes through and then the person's like, are you ordering? And I'm like, yeah, I've never been here before. I'm just trying to figure out what I want. And they're like, okay. Because I, I guess it's what other people do is they just get in line and be like, uh, can I get, uh, one of these? Actually, what is this? And I'm like, uh, get out of line. <laughs> it's McDonald's. You know what it is. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I don't, I don't want to be like that super talkative parent where it's like, they go up and they're like, uh, can I get a number three with mustard? Actually, you know, I want ketchup this time. Can I get a number three with ketchup? You know what? Actually, I'm going to move for some chicken. Can I get the number four and easy mayo and a uh, Coke? Uh, honey, what do you want? Uh, I want spaghetti. And they're like, oh, no, sorry, hun. They don't have spaghetti here. I want pizza. And they're like, no, they don't have pizza. And the people behind you are like, hurry up. <laughs> so I'm just like, ah. I just want, I just, I just want to drive up and be like, y'all got my order. Is it ready? And they're like, yep, here it is. And I'm like, thank you. Bye. Here's money. And then actually, you know, I already gave you money when I put my order in. So thank you. Bye. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just walking around in circles. Why did I come up here? Uh... But yeah, the gas stations that play the commercials. So normally during the day, um, people have been using them and like each commercial is timed to when the person pulls up um so i guess they got some kind of sensor um and when i get up and get gas before i go to work it's fresh gas station nobody's drove driven up and gotten gas um so all the commercials and everything are playing on the time it took to boot up. So they're like timed like a couple seconds after each other. Mm -hmm. And it is the creepiest experience ever because it's early in the morning. So it's dark. And then you pull up to the first gas station and it's like, Join our rewards card. Join our rewards card. Join our rewards card. And I'm like, oh, uh, no. And it's like, stop inside. Stop inside. Stop inside and grab yourself a drink. Grab yourself a drink. Grab yourself a drink. And I'm like, oh, I want to leave. I hate this. But yeah, it happened like two days ago, and I'm just like, Ugh, I hate it. How often do you get gas? Like every like other week or a week or? But like four every four days. So yeah, you're probably hearing that like a lot more often. Well, it depends on the time of day. Like if I, if it's one of those early mornings where I have to get gas, then it's like, all right, hopefully somebody else has been here before me and like messed up the timings to where like only mine starts playing when I show up. Um, and then, yeah, a lot of times it's like, Nope, you're the first person here. 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 Welcome, 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 welcome. I'm like, uh, I feel like, I feel like this is a trick to distract me, and I'm gonna turn around and somebody's gonna be there and be like, hey, how can I help you? And I'm gonna freak out. 
because it's, it's such a robotic and like computerized like timing to where it, it's so unnatural that it feels like a trick it feels like a setup I was just like, ugh, I hate. The last time it happened, it was a, um, uh, it was an advertisement to a podcast, and it was like, listen to Maria Menounos, Maria Menounos, Maria Menounos, Health Glow, Health Glow, Health Glow, Health Glow. And I was like, uh, I don't like this. I'm never listening to that podcast. Do you know Marina Menounos? Yes. What I do you... think in high school, or not high school, middle school, we would have like the morning announcements, and they would show like they had this special like um, TV station kind of, uh -huh. and I think she was on it. It was like it would talk about the news, it would talk about like whatever, and it'd just be like. It would just it would just be her, and like a bunch of others, and then, um, she's also like a, I don't know, I don't know. She's a reporter, but she's a lot of like yeah. So I know of her. That's interesting because I only like I first like associated that name with her because she used to do like the movie previews. Yes, I remember that too. Yeah, she had the movie trivia and stuff like that. Yes! It was interesting that she, like, it was like everybody has their career. They do a bunch of different things. But it's, it's like, it's interesting to, like, hear that entry into her career. Um, I started watching a movie, uh, some TV show Ray Ray had picked, and, like, she was on that TV show. And it's like, and like, oh, Maria Menino. And I'm like, what? Uh, she's a TV show too? And then now I keep hearing her at the gas stations. And I'm like, ah. Uh. She's everywhere, Taco. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Kiki. Yes. Where are you? Right, where, where are you at as far as <laughs> today's stream? I finished two towers and almost the whole entire wall for the next section before we make another turn to go for another long bit of section. Nice. Um. Yeah, you weren't here earlier. My house was like 76 degrees for a couple of hours, and I didn't notice until I got a headache. So I turned the temperature down, but the damage has already been done. So I, whenever y'all are ready to go. <laughs> yeah, I'm about ready to get up. Yeah, almost done. Let me just, I'm, I'm working on the glass on the one side. Cool, cool, cool. I am going to actually just go on top of the house and kind of just walk, look out into the distance and grab some water. Cuz uh yeah, I'm I'm almost done with the with the glass. Oh yeah. I was just, I was just, I just do this like, until one is done since we're about to end it anyways. Yeah, I'm 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 not at a hundred percent and I've missed so many streams recently that I don't want to keep just keep missing them throughout the end of the year. So, mm -hmm. so. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, Almost there, Taco. Almost there. No, no rush. I'm just saying, like, I'm I'm basically like w winding down, and I'm gonna go. I'm 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 no longer doing anything productive, and I'm just chilling because 
I drank too much water and I need to drink some more. <laughs> Why does this look different? Hmm. F1, scenic view. All right, I'm gonna go grab some water. Ugh. Cool, cool, cool. Ah, okay. Do y'all have a traditional Christmas meal like Thanksgiving? No. Not really. Um, I made chili and my grandmother uh, made like meatloaf and like had like uh, uh, meat and stuff like that. And she made a chocolate cake, which is really good. Ooh. Um, and yeah, we just, yeah. Um, it was, yeah, not really like anything like major. Okay. Um, yeah. So I'm starting to realize that, uh, one of my in-laws, their traditional dinner is mostly for Christmas and the Thanksgiving dinner is kind of like up in the air now. <laughs> See there. Um, but my mom, yeah, we have a traditional Thanksgiving dinner. And then I I wasn't really sure what the Christmas, I mean, what the Christmas meal was. And then she was like, oh, yeah. And for Christmas, I'm making lasagna like I always do. And I'm like, oh. So... The last couple of days I had lasagna and uh, I, I couldn't make myself sick off of it because I had to eat at two other places. <laughs> so it's like I got a little piece and then I went over to my in-laws and ate. And then I went to breakfast at my other in-laws and ate and then went to my mom's house for an afternoon and like ate a little bit of lasagna. So tomorrow... <laughs> After work, I'm going to get some more lasagna and hopefully I don't make myself sick for the stream tomorrow. But, uh... Sounds good. I am done. Cool, cool, cool. And then okay. the last thing is fruitcake. No. Uh, I don't think you've ever had fruitcake. No, you haven't had it, or no, you don't like it, Kiki? I don't think I've ever had fruitcake. Never had it, never will. Don't even talk to me about it. What? <laughs> what? 
Why won't you even try oh, it? My wall looks great, amazing. I'm so glad to, <laughs> glad to have this stream with you, Taco <laughs> Man. Taco <Taco-go. laughs> <laughs> What fruitcake hurt you? <laughs> None of them. I just don't. I just don't give them the time of day. I don't think they deserve the time of day. Really? If I'm being stereotypical to fruitcake, I guess I am. Oh, well. So, again, they don't deserve it. So, one of my in-laws, they had this, like, slab of cake. And I'm not sure if it, like, they're like, I think this is fruitcake, but I'm not sure. And I'm like. Why are you serving the stuff you don't know what it is? So I guess somebody may have like given it to her. But um it had a cherry in it, so I'm I'm guessing that it's fruit cake. But um Ray Ray got a fruit cake from her work. And it's a whole fruit cake. I'm like mm. just like you said, the whole stereotypical thing where it's just like just fruitcake just has hatred towards it I think I might I also have never been like I need to try fruitcake so I don't know I, I I have no preferences one way or the other yeah until like two days ago or I guess Friday yeah until Friday I was I, I was like fruitcake has never come into my life directly and I may have seen it, and I hear that it's bad. And then Ray Ray gets out of work with a whole fruitcake, and they're like, they gave me a fruitcake. And I'm like, I guess I'm trying fruitcake this year. <laughs> so um, in the next few days, I'm going to try some fruitcake. I should probably try it quick earlier because she got it a couple of days ago, but it's in the fridge, so I think it's fine. Um, and everybody, like we, somebody gave us Texas trash, and then we got a couple of Reese's snowmen, and and then somebody gave us a bag of candy. So I'm like, there's many other things that I'm like, I'd rather eat than trying fruit cake, but I don't want it to just sit there and go bad. So, um, I tried the little piece of the fruit cake at my in-laws' house, and it was actually really good, but it had this like coconut consistency or maybe like baklava consistency Ooh, I love baklava. where it was like this like syrupy soaked kind of stringy texture and I don't think that's what this cake is that Ray Ray got so whatever my in-law had I love that I'm like I don't care if it got pineapple cherry apples bananas in it like it was delicious Hopefully this thing that we have in the fridge is similar in taste. I don't think it's going to be similar in, in consistency because this is cake shaped. And the other thing that my in-law had was like, a, like, I don't know, something different. I need to get off this roof without falling. All right. Oh, I couldn't even see the shower sleeping because my UI was turned off. All right. Oh, I'm actually the only person in here. <laughs> I think you're just talking to yourself in the world. Cool. Oh. I guess I will end my stream here. No one's really on. So this is your last stream with us this year? I mean, if you're streaming tomorrow, I might join. Okay. But yes, we shall see. I might do a stream throughout the week. I'm not doing anything until at least Saturday or Sunday. I know New Year's is on Sunday. Um, yes, New Year's Eve. But I might do a little bit. I might do some streams throughout the week, so we'll see. It's supposed to be very rainy, so we'll see. Okay. Well, this is the last power hour of the year. And yes, that's uh, true. yeah, it's fun as always. Yes. Maybe we'll get to the Why? Huh? Say so yes it was. It was fun as always. Yes. Maybe we'll get to the spire in twenty twenty four. Maybe. 
Well, that's my next thing. I have to dig, dig out the tunnel. Like, that should take too long. Yes. Yes, making progress towards that. Is this... We have three levels to get to, and I got to design the bridge. So... I think I think we'll get to it next year. If that's like the only big project that we do, I would, that would be st like good, good progress. But um, yeah, y'all have yourselves a good night. Happy New Year! If uh, if you don't join us Happy tomorrow, New Year. Happy New Year! Yeah, May twenty twenty four be. Your best. Yeah. <laughs> May, Better than 2023. You survive, <laughs> yeah. You survived 2023, survived 2024. But better. Yeah. All right. Well, Y'all have yourselves a good night. Good Bye. night. Bye. 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 That has been the last Minecraft Power Hour of the year. Got some stuff done. Got the slabs down. Got the glass down. I don't know what else I was working on. I got distracted by the elevators. Um, and, uh, yeah. Not sure how many power hours we did this year but uh next year we got 50 scheduled <laughs> and uh we'll see how many of those we actually um actually no we got 50 scheduled and we will uh knock them out as we go we have 50 a variety of hours also scheduled so see if we can get through overcooked <laughs> And uh, start trying some brand new games. But yeah. Um, this has been good. I, uh, I'm happy that we continued power hour through 2023 i think we brought it back in 2022 um yeah we brought it back in 2023 we were consistent through 2023 um i wonder if we're on like because we don't do it three times a week um we're probably still in the 300s but i think by the end of 2024 we'll probably be in the 400s Um, as far as projects go for power hour, I have the spire that I designed in 2022. We're working our way through it in 2023 and, uh, hopefully we can get it started in 2024. Um, um, Minecraft has some additions to the game that are like combat related so we may take a couple adventures to check those out like we did with the cherry blossoms um and then yeah my goal is to kind of shed more light on 
different parts of the world. Uh, I plan on taking a bunch of screenshots, writing little little blurbs on different parts of this world that we've been working in for so long. Um, and ultimately, my goal is to go, like, basically show the history of the world. I want to go back all the way to the solo days um, where it was just me and sometimes Ray Ray the time before Power Hour started. But, um, yeah, baby steps. Uh, I'm still, I'm still editing stuff from a year ago. And like I said before, my goal as far as like putting out stuff is to come up with a schedule. I found a new little tool that I'm going to use. So that's going to be an interesting, an interesting way to lay things out. And I'm very excited to progress with that. Um, But yeah, uh, I should be going to sleep now, but I have a couple of things I need to do things with. So, uh, I'm probably gonna be up another hour. Working on another part of the business. And, uh, yeah. Y'all have yourselves a good night. Thanks for hanging out with us and stopping by through these chill streams. And, uh, yeah. As always, this is DK from Takiyaki Gaming. Today with me was Keeks the Beast and the Traveling Wanderer. And as always, and for the last time of 2023, I'd like to thank you all for watching, for hanging out in chat, for supporting the channel through these many years in any way that you do. And I will see y'all again in 2024.